Hello, my name is John Underwood, and I'm part of the Maycomb County News, and we're here with Bob Buell, and we're going to ask him some questions. Sir, what are your views on African American rights? <laughs> Same. African American have rights. There is no such thing. The only people have rights are white property owning males. What has been power of this country throughout history? White property owning males like Tom Jefferson, George Washington. Now, I just don't see what the question is. Those ninjas don't have any rights of any sorts at all. I can't believe there's such a thing or an idea of sorts of African American rights. All right. You seem pretty in depth with those views. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, what are your views on education in the child's upbringing? Well, I had a really good school. I limited reading and writing capacity. Can't do it that well, but I can. Can't tie my left shoe, tie my right one. But I don't feel like my non existent educational upbringing has had any bearing or effect on this. So I impart the same wisdom upon my children. Uh, they don't have to go to school the first day, just keep the laws off my back. But, the education is not necessity in the youth household. Okay. What was your childhood like in Macon County? Well, I lived in Macon County, like I said. Uh, my papa was drunk. His dad before that was drunk. His daddy's daddy before that was drunk. All the daddy's daddies in the youth family have been drunk. Uh, I was beaten occasionally. I wouldn't say on a frequent basis, but it definitely wasn't not common. But I, I would say, yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, I don't feel like I personally have taken any eating or drinking. Um, it's just not as an impact in my life. Okay. There's a rumor going around that you spend your relief checks given to you by the government on stuff not used for your children, is this true? Well, I was maybe giving it to me. Uh, the alcohol is my friend. The whiskey is always there for me, never abandons me. Whenever I'm feeling down, or blue, or sad, I turn to the whiskey. I wake up drinking whiskey, and drink myself to sleep at night. But I, I view myself as a functional drinker. I don't really think I have a fresh money. So right, that's, that's it. Yeah, I spend my leave checks on alcohol. What else would they be used for? I don't think that's up to you. One last question for you. What is your relationship with your children? Uh, I believe I'm a very fatherly figure. Uh, I do my best to impart my wisdom on them and raise them the way I was raised in strong youth family beliefs. It's a good family while I care and love for each other. And did I mention care and love for each other? I think you did. Yeah. I I, I love them, I guess you could say. That's good. Thank you. All right, that's it for today. Maycomb County News. This is Bob Yule, and I'm John Underwood. We'll throw it back to you. Hi, welcome to Maycomb County News. I'm here with Miss Marty today to ask her a couple questions. Now, how are you after the fire? Oh, child, I'm just fine. See. Ain't none of my flowers got damaged in that fire. It was just that old cow house out there in the pasture. I wanted that thing out of there for years. I'm just glad it finally is. I can have more room for my flowers now, don't you see, Mr. Underwood? All right, so what are your plans moving forward? My plan's moving forward, so I moved into Stephanie Crawford's house just for a little while until I get my living quarters fixed back up. 
But eventually, I'll be back out there playing flowers again and working in the field. That's good, God. That's good, Lord. Grace be with child. You know. All right. So, what's your relationship with the finches? Oh, Lordy, those finches. Well, uh, I'd say Jim and Dill are quite the rambunctious group, always running around. I let them play out in the field sometimes behind my house, just as long as they respect my flowers and keep out of garden a distance. But oh, good Lord, that little girl scout, and she is such a sweetie. I love having her over talking about flowers and sometimes God and racists and, yeah, no, it's wonderful. The finches are nice. All right, so what did you lose in the fire? What did I do with my child? Lose. What did I lose in the fire? Okay. Uh, only thing I lost was uh, the cow house out there, a little bit of the house. Uh, but it ain't anything, trust me. It just made more room for my flowers that I can uh, grow some germanium and some chrysanthemums playing up there. All right. So how did you feel about Atticus defending Tom Robertson? Well, now I've lived in the area for many years. I've seen my husband uh, live with me, and he's passed now. But um, you know, to tell you the truth, Mr. Underwood, I'm not sure if I have any feelings about it. And, you know, I, I don't necessarily believe that it is the, the best choice for the well-being of the family and the kids growing up where the town might not lock their daddy a whole lot, but I do believe that it is Mr. Atticus's uh, moral duty to defend Tom Robinson. And, uh, in the trial, I do believe that he, uh, if he's found innocent, it will be the work of Atticus. All right. Thank you. See you later.